I want to quickly, I know a number of you brought up about organization and routine. Um, and so one of the things that helps some people, some people don't like this weekly tracker, <laughs> uh, but for some people, it really helps. And if you've been away from mind journal or consistent prayer or Bible study, this just helps for accountability for yourself to know where you're at, but also it can be used for accountability for other areas of your life that you just need to keep a daily track of as well. Um, if you have been, you know, if you, uh, there's some people in our group, in, our, in tapestry who renew their minds every day without fail, they're doing back to back 63 days. They probably don't need this tracker anymore, but if you, you know, there's a lot to keep track of in life. So this can help as well. So I'm going to, show you you'll want to turn if you have your box it's um the first time it turns up is in week one and it's right after the affirmations and it's on page 37 of your book and i'm gonna quickly show you an example of mine that i've prepared for next week for myself um and explain it's a screenshot so sorry about that hopefully you can see this can you see it yes yeah good right oh I'll do that okay so as i said the weekly tracker keep, helps you keep track of what we're doing um each day and so there's four main components of the from from week one now all the way through to week eight um there are four main components each day so What's not on the list actually, which is what we should all be doing is having some time of quiet time between you and the Lord in prayer. So that looks different for all of us. I'm not talking about Bible study. I'm not talking about the mind journal plan. We're talking about just sitting before the Lord, putting on some worship, putting on instrumental worship, whatever it is for you that you like to do, but just engaging um, the Lord. Because a lot of us have talked about intimacy, relationship, experiencing, delighting in him. This is going to be the most foundational thing that you can do each day or as many days as you can in the week is to spend that quiet time and I think I never knew this but coming into tapestry I realized that quiet time has a different definition for everybody everybody think a lot of people would think that quiet time is my mind journal is my bible study don't get me wrong that can be an offshoot of that but we always want to prioritize this communion with the Lord and if you don't know what I mean by that then um, just keep a note of that and we can talk about that after if you don't know what that means but just um, this is this is the where it makes everything a lot more real um, and so I've already put that here at the top um, quiet time of the Lord so every time you do that throughout the week you just tick off um in the box or some people do smiley faces um, and we do have a digital version of this uh where you can um it comes up with stars when you click on it and all of these different things so um then renewing of the mind daily plan okay so that is as i said four main components there are a number of scriptures to pray read every day and you should by this week know what prayer reading is but um, literally just reading the scriptures and having a conversation with the Lord about that verse. So like with Zephaniah 317, um, it says the Lord uh, sings over you, he delights, he sings over you. Thank you. It could be as simple as saying as you read that verse, thank you, Lord, that you delight over me. Help me to know what that actually means <laughs> or help me to experience that. And it's having this conversation with the Lord as you read the verses. Um, and so there's those that's component one and then component two is actually the mind journal activity that is for that day and that will be different every day um and then the third component is a faith action and that is what we talked about those seven times a day which we'll look at in a minute down below here and then the fourth component on some days there are some lifestyle um 
activities you can do to again build that delighting lifestyle let's call it a lifestyle of delighting a lifestyle of intimacy and communion with the lord and some of that is like just waking up five minutes earlier slowly um and just talking to the lord before you get out of bed it's as simple as those little things so when it says renewing of the mind daily plan, that is whatever is on that day. So for instance, day eight, page 40, it's got all of that for you. So if you, when you've done that, you can just tick it off. Um, and then on mine, I want to read the week's affirmations or listen to them um, every day or as many days as I can, like Didi talked about. And so every day I do that, um just if just once a day uh, i'll tick it off um as a minimum that that's what i've done uh i like to check in with facebook the group i kind of have to uh, daily uh, and so you know if all you can do is a monday and a friday or we also are going to have a check-in on a saturday uh, which will be a different post and so if all you can do is check in in the roundup roundup post on a saturday then really do that because that lets us know how you're doing and how it's going um, and that'll be posted by one of our team members called wendy and that is a roundup of the week like how was your week um, specifically for this study it will be different specifically for this study so i every time i check into facebook each day i'm going to take that as well or star or circle and then I've got to do something that was advised to me by a health professional is I sit at my desk a lot or I'm, as I told you, I'm writing a new book for next year. Um, so, or I'm just resting a lot. And I, they recommended that I get up and do these 10 minute movement breaks um, at least once a day. So it's not just getting up and doing something different, but maybe that's doing some um, stretching or squats or going out for a walk for 10 minutes. So that's something that I have to keep going and try and do that at least once a day. Same with my supplements. You see, I've brought in real life stuff that would be helpful for me, beneficial for me to keep track of. So I have like 10 different supplements I have to take each day. So uh, every time I take them, I'm going to I'm going to take them off as well each day. And there's you can fill in whatever you want there. And that's just room for you to keep track of. And I've just put here that it's week one, the love of God. OK, um, does anybody have any questions on that first top part over there? I'm trying to see everybody's face. Is that is that clear? Does that make sense? Okay, most people don't struggle with that. Most people struggle with this bit down here. So the faith actions. So when we've been talking about seven, um, eight times a day, um, these are things that are, and this is, the, it's not to be legalistic. This is actually, if you can remove your mind from making this a rule and turn it into, this is my opportunity to touch the hand of God or meet with him face to face for one minute. Can I give the Lord one minute of, of pausing from my everyday life and stop to commune with him? If you can see it like that, it becomes a delight instead of a chore. So if you look at it, like, oh my goodness, I've got to get seven in eight times a day and you're doing it and you're like grumbling and complaining about it, then it kind of defeats the point. If you see it as this is my time to practice communing with the Lord throughout the day, this is where delighting comes in. This is where intimacy comes in. This is where I'm actually loving God when it says with all of my heart, with all of my mind, with all of my soul and with all of my strength, I am taking the time out to, to do this, right? To, um, and the Lord says, if you love me, then, and I'm gonna add in a word here, but you would want to keep my commandments, which is his word. So the more that we um, go deeper into his word throughout the day, it's gonna help us build what we're all, all our goals are here is that's what we want, okay? So what I've done personally is I've gone through the seven days, um, the next seven days in the love week. 
and I've highlighted very clearly, I hope, a faith action is in bold. And say, for instance, on Monday, next Monday, we've got to write some affirmations based on the verses for that day. And so I've, uh, the faith actions, sorry, we're not writing them. The, well, the faith actions is saying those affirmations seven times a day. So if you've noticed, I've put day eight affirmations. And seven or eight is the wonderful goal. But some days I can only do four or five. I'm just being honest. And that's okay. Every time I do it, I come back and I tick. Every time I've, I've said, um, I am beloved of God. Okay, I said that at 9 a.m. I took that off. I came back at 11 and I meditate on the fact that I'm beloved of God. Okay, <laughs> I tick number two. I might go in, my, in the Facebook group and say, hey, everybody, my affirmation for today is I'm beloved of God. Believe it or not, that is doing a faith action. Because every time you go back to referring about that thought, it's cementing it like Dee Dee beautifully explained in the brain so every time I and in your mind so even if I call Kathy and say Kathy guess what I'm just loving meditating on the fact that I am beloved of God and she goes tell me more and I start talking about it with her for the next minute you can tick that off as well okay um and but the best way is literally you know on your own is just to meditate on that truth for for a minute and you don't have to set a timer <laughs> for one minute most of us know what one minute looks like okay so again day nine we're doing a soap f that day and so the faith action for that is whatever that f was on the end of the acronym so whether that that might look for you as a scripture prayer it may be a very specific action that you're going to do i know someone said this week um, when we did the uh, Colossians, when it said, set your mind on things above, every time they went through their day and every time there was an opportunity to think on things below, okay, things on earth, they proactively worked to set their mind on something higher than that. And so every time they did that, they ticked that off. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we have loads of opportunities, don't we, to, to have our minds set on things going on on earth right now. If you just watch the news, you could probably do that seven or eight times, <laughs> okay? Uh, if you watch the news regularly throughout the day. So that's that's what we're doing with that. And so, and so on and so forth, I've gone through, I've kind of planned out my week. I know what I'm doing. We're doing scripture prayers on day 10. Okay, so I know every time I read that scripture prayer, I'm gonna tick it off. And it continues on, it continues on. The, so there may be some times where I haven't given a faith action, which is rare, but that means that's your choice to put something in there. Uh, for you and again if you can do two on Monday you may have six on a on a Tuesday let's say Terry's really busy on the days that she's really busy and she can do four but on other days she blasts right through to eight that's great it's fine this is not like um going to be graded <laughs> I'm not going to come back every Friday and say so how many did you do uh Daria or or Sheila uh, we're not going to do that this is between you and 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 the Lord and of all um, on Saturdays you can of course post your tracker on a Saturday if you like or on a Sunday um, and some people do like to do that so that's your choice as well does anybody have any questions on the faith actions tracker or how that works Yes, Amy, yeah. Well, I noticed in the chat, somebody uses um, an, uh, an Adobe tracker. I'm more of a computer girl now. I like mm -hmm. to do things on the phone. Yeah. Is that something someone can explain to me as how to get it on my phone? Yeah, yeah. So it's on our website, tapstreetbeautyministries.com okay. in the shop. Um, but I can just get you a copy. It's fine. And uh, I was telling Kathy, because Kathy B uses it a lot, uh, I think. Are you using it again, Kathy, now for this study, the Adobe version? Yes, I sure am. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So it took me ages to design, <laughs> but it's good. So whenever, <laughs> okay. so whenever you literally uh, touch it or click on it on your, on your device, it brings up a star. 
okay. um, on each faith faction or up here as well. And it's a different color for each day and things, and it's quite fun. Um, and so uh, that is good if you want it digitally. And the, the benefit of that is wherever you go, we typically have our phones. We may not be carrying this big book around with us all the time, right? So, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Or, you, or you can print off this, and have it somewhere that you can take with you around the day, have an additional copy. Um, But yeah, the PDF one is good if you prefer to go digital. I'd love to have an app one day where we can have all this in there, but we we don't have that right now. Lisa, Lisa. Um, I have a quick question. I've been using a different type tracker. So so studying this this time, my question is on the top, Mm-hmm. You have um, you have Mon- for the whole week, Monday through Sunday, but on the bottom, you it, it looks like it's for the day. So how do you do that for a week if it's one day? The bottom one? Yes. So one one line is a day. Okay, yeah. So day eight, all the times I do affirmations, that's Monday. The next line is Tuesday. The next line is Wednesday. The next line is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so you have one faith action that you're just, you're not doing multiple faith actions. You're just doing- No, just one faith action for the whole day. The reason for that is, so that's your activity you do several times a day, is again, we're getting into that consistency, repetition mindset. So it's repetition. Because when you think about it, when we're anxious about something or worried, we repeat the same scenario over and over and over again. What will happen if this doesn't work out? What happens if I can't? And we're, we're meditating on the same thing all the time. And so what we're doing is we're re one of the words caroline leaf uses is we're rewiring that train of thought and we're we're repeating the truth of god's word instead so what if Uh, we're three faith actions a day should we just pick one to track because i do the mirror at since i um wash up in the morning and get dressed and in the evening i do the mirror activity while i'm doing my hair and putting on my makeup and washing up and then i do seven times a day i'm doing the but then also I have um, a faith statement, if you will, that I read in the morning and at night. And that's something you do um, in general all the time on most days. Yes. So you could put that up here. So you see how I'm doing my weekly affirmations. I also have affirmations on my wall that are not connected. This Well, they are technically connected because it's all the same truth. But I read those every day. I have mirror exercises that I read every day. Um, so if you want to put that in here and um, do my mirror exercise when I'm getting ready in the morning, then you could put that there too, because that's oh. something that you do once a day, right? Yes. Well, I do it yeah. twice. I do it twice at night. Yes. Because I figure I'm standing in front of a mirror. So I just kind yeah. of make that habit. Um, yeah. That. Um, right. So, so if I was doing that, I'd write mirror exercise here times two. And every time I do that each day, twice a day, I'd tick that off. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Which is, which is great. Great. Yeah. Um, somebody else had a question, I think. Amy. If you can hear my boys shouting behind me, but it's fine. Amy, um, you have to unmute. I can't hear you. So I went to the store. I found it. Um, I have a question. Does it go transfer to um, device to device to device or should do I need to download it on each device that I'm using? I used it in a while and I rem- think I remember I figured out a way to help it. OK, I think I remember now. So if you have Adobe and you sign in and create an account within Adobe, I believe it transfers between, and you sign into the same account on all your devices. I think it tr- saves the document across the devices. Does that make okay. sense? It does. But then do I have to pay for Adobe? No, it's free to sign up and have an account with Adobe. It is. Okay. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Easiest way is just to maybe use it on one device, but I, 
I remember having it, I think Kathy, right, that we would down, we'd sign into Adobe. And once that document is uploaded, it seems to keep track of it across the cloud. If you, you know what that means, across the devices. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, thank I, you. I only use it on my iPhone, so. Yeah. But I would think it would transfer. Yeah. Okay, all Good. right, thank you. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Any other questions? Everybody okay, Sheila, Terry? Becky, Dario, yeah, you get it. Give it a go and see what you think. Some people love it. Some people like, I can't, I just, this is too much. Uh, but for me, I can forget things. So it's helpful for me to have this tracker for me. 